Thank you, uh, Bill and Ashok, for the opportunity to, to contribute uh, to the session and uh, tell a bit more what is happening in South Africa regarding training and values-based practice. Um, and hope I hope this will also be inspiring for all that for, for the other participants. And I hope also to get some of your advice, please. I've been teaching values-based practice to various um, healthcare professionals. Uh, as part of the continuous professional educational program or professional development um, sessions with um, most uptake among occupational therapists um, who are usually very creative um, in the South African context and they really like the, the processes afforded by value-based practice. I'm not going to say more about that. Um, I'll rather just highlight quickly what we've been teaching um, in uh, on values-based practice in health education, specifically in the medical curriculum at the University of Pretoria. Um, the experience we've had within a few modules currently and also where we are heading for the future. Values-based practice has featured in the undergraduate medical curriculum since 2003, um, specifically in two modules, uh, one of the second year and another model of the six year medical students um, using various teaching um, platforms, as you can see there. In the early days, uh, we required students to write an essay with that very broad title, aiming as uh, I've listed it there. But um, as one may, may, may have anticipated, the essay is quite often at too narrow a focus going for a particular virtue, for example, um, honesty or, or such, um, with too little uptake of value-based practice. And then we added that qualification um, in the title of the essays. But we still did not quite get the extent of engagement that we would have liked. And of course, it was rather onerous to say so many essays. So we suspended the. the we replaced the essays with a real life case study, which students um, have been doing in communities with those um, instructions to um, find conflicts and consider processes by which those conflicts could be addressed. The real life case studies work better than the essays with much more uptake of value based practice. But this required some specific guidance and instructions, taking them through the processes in their engagement with the families. There were a few uh, students who had difficulty in identifying the conflicts, thought there were no real conflicts, or some had too narrow a take on what values would be about, confining themselves to mere cultural values, for example, or only looking at the val values within the family and not accounting for the values in their health care system. In the computer-based uh, training, they work through a set of 800 questions, um, of which about 130 are specifically on values-based practice. Um, these questions are also very difficult questions, uh, some conceptual questions about the relation between values and ethics, for example. And the idea of these questions um, is that they be guided through thinking process rather than rote learning. And they have to perform each set um, and do it over and over until they reach a threshold of 90% and then they may carry on to, to the doing of the next set. We do this, um, this in the second year for the second year medical students. Uh, for the six year medical students, we've got a proficiency test um, before and after the compulsory reading and recently, for example, we saw a 39 percentage points increase in the class average, so also quite successful. For the future, um, there's an opportunity in that the current curriculum is being reformed. And uh, I would like to see values based practice become a hallmark feature of the curriculum um, and be treasured across all clinical disciplines. There are, of course, a number of challenges. And uh, the first challenge is to sell this idea to the undergrad program committee. I've been invited to speak to them in February. Um, 
but it will have to be incorporated uh, across all disciplines if it's to be a hallmark feature of the curriculum. And somewhat idealistically, I would very much like to see that medicine practice is integrated in the role models of faculty clinicians across all disciplines, because that's, of course, where um, students will learn uh, quite a bit. Thank, uh, so I conclude that values-based practice has featured in the medical curriculum for some time in various formats, um, and there's an opportunity um, to, to build on that. And I would like your advice on how to address those challenges and, of course, also the questions that you may have. I thank you.